Hey everyone, I'm back. Say, I don't know if I've done anything here with the wiring or talked about anything I've done with that stuff here. So I just thinking I might as well do that. I got a little bit of time here. So basically, it's a newer 454 out of, I'd say, probably uh, 93 or something. Uh, big, big truck. And basically, I've taken the engine apart. It's not stock. So I've got myself ported polished heads off of an older engine something that flows I also have uh, a larger cam I don't remember the dimensions on it. I think it was a 279 289 or something like that or 289 299 I can't remember the duration of that old lift I got an HEI super coil on top of my HEI distributor um, like I say this is kind of the broken knuckle garage here's my crown strap some of you may also be wondering why I have this is just temporary wire together to start it all the time here, you know, basic thing. Got an electric fuel pump on it because obviously this engine doesn't have the accessory for the mechanical one, which, big deal, no no problem there. Um, I have done up my own wiring, made my own wiring from the back up to the front, you know, with that fuel pump wire, just lengthen the, the uh, fuel gauge wire here, and then all new wiring I just made one thing where the GM don't know why they had like here it is here they had multiple connections going back to the back I don't know why they just didn't one run one thing so anyway we'll get back to in right along here you know I did all the wiring real nice in here knows my dog bed here she got in a tussle with a skunk so she's stuck out here for a couple days till we get some stuff to clean her up but I did all the wiring nice inside there, inside that looming. And then I come back here. I don't mind my car cover. But, you know, the wire in here comes to split it. There goes over for my fuel pump along here and then into a nice GM weather pack. So that's a nice secure connection there. My electronic fuel pump there. With the inline filter right there. And then we go back up. Here's the fuel line coming off. And I got the nice stuff around it looming here to keep it from rubbing onto the frame rail. Here'd be that wire going for my fuel sending unit. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, and then got the wiring going through the frame rail here. And there, anybody asking or wondering. This truck was not a four-wheel drive when I started. It was actually a 1986 Suburban chassis that this was put on here. So, um, oh, look at here, we got a visitor. Mrs. Skunky, say hi to Molly. Say hi, Molly. Okay. And then I have this run up here into a nice GM weather pack again with the wires and that. She must not like being on camera. She got scared and went out again. You know, with your wires coming out into a, two separate harnesses for the taillights. Um, this part is about the only factory part yet that I'm going to reuse. Like I said, this is a busted knuckle, broke, broke ass garage. So oh, that's just my thing. And I also have, because I have a camper and that, and car trailers. I'm still planning on using this truck. So, I mean, right here, I got the wiring run back to already for trailer brakes and power for the you know, camper, accessories, whatever's going to be on there, if you will. So, um, and you can see it's all new brake lines, too. And I know I probably touched on that already, but ran that, got that kit on eBay, and run that up. So it's one continuous line. So I don't have any brakes in it, but I probably, actually I do right up by the engine up there. But I uh, got them all hung up there nice with some, you know, cable or clamps and that stuff so all the way up there so um so and i don't know if i said this earlier in the video but some of you may be wondering why i'm putting this all together without painting it and everything else well going through one of those illustrious things that start with a d and i don't mean dallas so i'm just kind of putting it together to move it on out so to speak as the jeffersons would say so then I will be breaking it down again later on. 
but for now uh, it's all primered and and things for the most part so once I get that box once I get that box in there and get that gas filler thing in there I'll be putting the bed on primer in the box and once I get the wiring kind of situated up front here for now I might just be putting a plate over this and putting a little heater core in there or something like that which actually I'm probably not gonna put a heater core in there for right now because right now I, I just want it mobile and if I decide to drive it you know then I'll worry about a heater core or whatever or I'll just put a plate over over this first I'm still undecided as to what I'm going to do on that stuff but you know here I'm just using some of the factory wiring harness again like I said this is one of those budget builds I'm gonna say um, you know here's the headlights headlight um, this is either my yep this is gonna be my front turn indicator and parking light you can tell by that because there's an adapter that would go on to, goes onto that now when I put it through wherever it goes down here wherever it goes that would go go gonna go to my parking light that'll be up here this one is actually the inside the fender you know for the clearance lights so um you know fusible link there inline fuse there um you know and this stuff would all run runs back over here going over to i omitted see this was going to go i omitted you can see that here i cut it out and it's just laying like normal here my voltage regulator and wiring i cut that out omitted that because that's not essential now because i'm going to run a single wire more modern newer style alternator on here you know there's that piece i'm looking for a serpentine setup and i don't have a million dollars of blow so if you know anybody that wants to help me out with that you know they can definitely do that so and that going up there and it's going to be i'm going to get some more looming run it all up to there again here would be my headlight wires right here front parking lights and clearance side marker lights so very very simple on this old bird um then i'm going to be getting some new power steering hoses once i get a power steering pump and that also um so like i say just very very simple on this old bird um just using the factory wiring harness because at this point things are just super budget um again like i was saying here i maybe not didn't finish there either this was a two-wheel drive truck and i put it onto a four-wheel drive 86 suburban chassis made cab mounts myself and you know everything all the work on this truck the sandblasting the frame the motor the body work the rocker panels cab corners you know everything they're all gone even the this part right here here you can see I weld and put that in there too and like I've said in some of my other videos I am not a body man this is my first attempt so this you know anybody has a problem with it bite me where's yours <laughs> that's all I gotta say have a good one